Hello, teacher friend. My name is Denise Lee, and I am the creator of the Food Truck Family and Consumer Science Project. I have been teaching business and consumer education for 27 years. I am a 2022 Pennsylvania Teacher of the Year finalist and a nationally known speaker for business and consumer education. Thank you so much for your purchase. I created this file for all of my family and consumer science friends. This project file was done in our family and consumer science department with the middle school students and the high school students. Our family and consumer science teacher expected obviously more from her high school students and the middle school students, she had to instruct them a little bit more through each of the components and I will walk you through those components. First, I wanna show you the three resources uh, that are included in this file. This is the student file. This is the file that will be sent to your learning management system to your students, through your learning management system to your students. This is a good example of a finished project file done by a rock star student. And this is a grading rubric. Now, the everything here is editable, so please feel free to edit and make this file your own. If you feel like the points are off, you wanna make them more or less, feel free to do so. This is the student project file. Again, you want to make sure that each student has a copy of this. You can either force them a copy, copy before uh, you send it to the learning management system or have them simply go up to file and down to make a copy and make a copy of the entire presentation so that theirs are editable and unique to them. Your students will be given a $45,000 budget uh, for this simple startup. And you can see that there are several ideas of the types of food truck that they can have. They can have a meatball food truck, a coffee and donut food truck, a salad food truck. You'll notice that throughout this file, and I'm going to ask you to constantly reiterate to your students that there are hints tips, nudges, reminders, resources in the margins of this file. So if you are looking at the file here, you'll see that the student needs to do their food truck here. It says decide what type of food truck you want to sell out of, what kind of food you want to sell out of your truck and use the list on the previous page. It really walks the students through this. Now you may want to, especially with middle school students, project one of these on your Promethean board or your whiteboard, read this to the students and instruct for them to work specifically on this page, maybe the first day of um, the activity. You'll see here that I am repeating that they have a $45,000 investment and they will click on this file to get clip art to complete their, their food truck. Now I did send my students to a used food truck site and you can simply just google used food trucks to get a price for their food truck and some of my students opted to use images from that used food truck file but most of them decided to pick a food truck from this file and you can see here there are food trucks there are carts that you can pull with a truck this particular one a student chose she printed it out and she colored it and decorated it herself so that's an option but you can see that they're very plain jane and they need to be embellished so you'll notice that at the very end of this food truck file there are a bunch of accessories and embellishments that students can simply copy and paste in their file. They're all separate components. And my students did a great job, really enjoyed uh, doing this on their file. Um, on the very first slide, you'll see if students want to like send this sky behind their food truck, they simply need to right click, go to order and send back or send to the back. Um, send to the back actually. And that will send that those clouds to the back of their file. Um, so they can layer and so forth. Once the students pick one that they want to do, they simply control C to copy it 
and then control V paste it here. And then once again, they will go to this file and the last two pages have these embellishments. So let's say that they want to use this file. Again, I'm hitting control C and I will go here, hit control V for paste. And to put this behind, again, I'm gonna to go to order and I'm gonna send it to the back. And then I can stretch this sky down. Um, and then I can do the same with cobblestone, pull this clear over. Um, and then students can add a sign by going up to insert. They can go to shape and you may wanna do some of this demonstration with them or you can show them this clip of the video. Let's say that this is their sign. They may wanna put a sign next to this one um, and then go up to fill. And then they may want to pick a fill and then an outline, pick a chunky outline. And then for this outline, they may want to do like a black outline. And then they can definitely go and insert text and they can call this whatever they want. Uh, Denise's Delights. And make sure that they realize that they want to make this as big as possible for their customers to see. And they want to make sure they're doing it in a font. You can actually use this to get a color if you want. There's so much that they can do. Now, my students went crazy doing this. <laughs> they loved it. It was so much fun for them. So again, um, this is where they're going to design their food truck file. This video is something that you will want to show to your students before they start with the design. So you can see that I'm explaining it there. I was in New York City at Battery Park in that particular uh, video and showing the students how to design their food trucks and how important it is. Here the students are going to drop a professional picture. This is a great opportunity for me to talk to them about uh, what a professional profile picture looks like, what would be appropriate, what would not be appropriate. You can see for the business briefing that students have all of these tips and nudges in this um, side. And with middle school students, you may need to discuss like expenses, what expenses are there. Um, and again, when you show them the student file, which I'll go over here in a minute, that student file would be a good one for them to use as an example of maybe some expenses that they would have for their food truck. Setting up the business. Again, there is a great video at the top. This is setting up the supplies. So as you can see, I am actually right in front of the plaza in New York City, uh, the food truck capital of the world, and explaining to students about what they may need for their food truck supplies. They have to do the same for equipment. Now I gave a budget over here to the right. I wanted them to spend at least 600, but don't exceed 850. I'll tell you why I did that. Um, when students first started doing this file, they were dropping images images in here and getting like a pack of 50 plates, uh, styrofoam plates. I explained to them, you may go through 50 plates ha in half of a day if you have a busy day. You want to make sure that you have hundreds of plates. And you can see here in my student example, um, this student, Jean Brooks, she did this for her. You can see that she did every component here is a separate component. This light post, this sign, the, the table and chairs. Um, she had a great job really designing this. You can see her little plants that she put up here. This is her professional profile. Uh, this is uh, Brooks Burgers is what she's calling her food truck. And you can see here for supplies, she bought a lot of everything here. Now she had bought 300 plates. Honestly, students are not going to 
probably do an excellent job with this because they are young and they don't know. Uh, high school students will do much better, but you do want to tell them, you know, they want to start with like 12, 1200 napkins and they want to start with like 2400 straws and so forth. So you can see here that, um, you know, she was pretty complete in her equipment. But I honestly, when this was done, we could pick on every single student on what they didn't have. But I, there was a level of forgiveness because they're young, um, but they were using their critical thinking skills. They were using their creativity and analytical skills. And that's really what we wanted from them. So we were very forgiving because of course, this is a young audience. I helped them along at the way and it really seemed to um, be a good thing when I kind of counseled with each of them about what they might need. This is another video. This specifically is on equipment. So again, show this video to the class. It is closed captioned, so they can turn their volume off and watch it themselves if they would like. And I also included a link here for food truck equipment, just for them to review some things that might be needed in a food truck. Uh, we don't know what we don't know. So this is a very robust list of items that may be needed as far as equipment goes for a food truck. Again, I gave students $1,000 to $2,000. Now, I told this, the kids this. Some of them had food trucks that were equipment heavy, like they needed a lot of equipment. And I acted as a banker. If, if they could reasonably explain to me why they needed their budget increased, just like going to the bank and explaining to a banker why you might need a loan, then I told them that I would increase their budget for the equipment. I did the same for supplies for some of the students as well. So this this project really was a great journey through business education and consumer education, um, as well as um, an activity that really got them thinking and using those analytical skills. Here is the menu, and I will show you the menu for our young lady example here. Um, the menu, she decided that she wanted the Brook Burger, the Classic Burger, the Bella Burger, Slider Specials, and she was docked some points for not putting uh, the amounts here for the burgers. So this may be something when you show this student project file to your students, you may want them to, to use their critical thinking skills and think how much would Brooke need to charge for a burger out of a food truck? given all of the expenses and so forth. So um, she's doing fountain drinks. So of course she would need cups and straws and she did include those on her supply list. Um, I told the students, of course, if they're selling cans of soda or bottles, then they wouldn't have to worry about cups and straws. But she said she adamantly wanted to do fountain drinks, which was fine. Now this is a shopping list and this is where they have to list all of the food. So I tell them specifically, don't order food for the supplies because we're going to be buying food. Supplies should be things that are not edible. That is what I told them, things that are not edible. So these would be paper products, cleaning supplies, but this is their food, their edible supplies and um, ingredients that they need. And you can see here on my student example, I did not have them do a spreadsheet or a list. I wanted them to, to put pictures in here. I wanted them to drop pictures because I wanted them to get an image really of what a shopping cart would look like uh, whenever they went shopping at Sam's Club or at the local warehouse for restaurants in our area. So you can see that um, she has a great food supply list here and she spent $1,290. Again, I could pick on her uh, and say, okay, I think you'll need more than 100 pounds of potatoes. Um, I really do think you're gonna need more than 100 pounds of meat uh, since you are selling burgers. But honestly, I was very forgiving with these students.
This is an interior view of the food truck and you can see here there's a place to drop the interior view for the food truck and here they are to drop a picture of what their customer might be getting on their plate for their food truck. So Brooke, um, Brooks Burgers put a nice juicy burger with fries and a fountain drink. And this is the place where students are given an opportunity to put down their total investment. When she shopped for a food truck, this is the food truck that she, she, she found that was a used food truck. This was the total supplies on her so, total supplies list, her total equipment, and the food. Now she came up with these totals in the project with a total of $24,926. She was well within the $45,000 budget. So when I grade this, again, I told you this grading rubrics is, is completely editable. You can make it your own. Um, so feel free to change those uh, possible points if you wish to, but you can see there are 10 competencies here uh, from the food truck facade to entrepreneurial profile, business briefing, inventory for supplies, equipment, uh, menu, shopping list, interior view of food truck. Some of them are 10 points and some of them are five points with a total of this project being 85 points. Here you can drop some comments on maybe why students didn't get their full points. I told you that the young lady student example uh, for her menu, she didn't put prices for the menu, which would be a big problem, <laughs> obviously. So the menu is simple yet complete and makes sense. Hers was not complete, um, but it did make sense. I could definitely see those burgers. And honestly, the supplies list she did an excellent job and you want to make sure that students look at the supplies list and the menu is does she have everything from bacon cheese and lettuce uh down here yes she has her bacon her cheese her lettuce um, she has a burger that has egg on it, fried egg, it's included. So of course you want them to connect the dots and make sure that everything makes sense for their food truck, simple startup. I certainly wish you the best of luck with this project with your students. Our kids loved it. So I hope yours love it and enjoy it as well.